well. Australia in lane five here. Maddie Wilson, Keir Melvinson, Molly O'Callaghan and Ariane Titmus to bring it home in the final of the women's 4x200 freestyle relay. Scotland, England, Canada, Australia and South Africa. So two gold medals on the night for the Aussies and we're hoping Annabelle for one more. We certainly are. We won silver at the world title recently and bronze in Tokyo last year. We don't want to say it will be comfortable, but I like what Kate said about eight from eight. That sounds good to me. I agree, Kate. It's much more stressful when you're not racing, watching on. Well, you lose that sense of control that you may have otherwise when you are in the water and, and you, you feel as though you have this sense of control because you know the work that you've put into it. Um, but when we watch the other athletes, you feel each stroke, you try and correct what might be right. And as the Australian team walks out, there may not be an Emma McKean in there, but there are four incredible women that will do an exceptional job in this race up against Canada. Canada has performed very well in this race. Again, we're seeing Summer McIntosh, the young 15 year old who's been an absolute sensation, not only at these games, but even before it, breaking records left, right and centre. Big program for her. She's amazing. She just a world champion at the age of 15. She won the 200 butterfly and the 400 individual medley recently on form here as well. But how about the depth of Australian women's middle distance racing? Pretty extraordinary. As we see Maddie Wilson, who will lead off the team. She is such an incredible contributor to our relay teams. And consistently, um, whether it's in the 200 or one of the 4x100 relays, she's, she is there. And, um, you know, one of our, a, a very reliable uh, swimmer in the relays and, and really is able to bring it home or deliver the lead that we need in that first leg. Australia going for five in a row here. Women's 4x200 freestyle relay. We've won every time since 2006. And it is a big team changeover from 2018. Emma McKeon, Brianna Throssell, Leah Neal and Ariane Titmus. Only Arnie remains in this final. Maddie Wilson in the water first. It'll be Kia Melverton, Molly O'Callaghan and Arnie to bring it home. Summer McIntosh in the water for Canada. We know what an accomplished swimmer she is already at such a young age. Still in the middle of her teens and has so much growth and potential still to come we know canada with an early lead australia second and england in third place with freya colbert in lane three and maddie doing a great job here she's really putting it to summer mcintosh you can see summer mcintosh's hands are slightly her fingers are slightly apart people might wonder why that is the water actually binds if there's just a minimal distance between the fingers you can catch more water it increases the surface area Matty Wilson is doing a good job and got an excellent turn and goes up right on the shoulder of Summer McIntosh. Virtually stroke for stroke, just kicks away again a little bit, the young Canadian. She seems to be making a bit of ground, Summer McIntosh, off the turns, and Maddie comes back at her through the course of the 50. And Freya Colbert doing a good job of keeping pace as well. So it's lanes four, five and three, Canada, Australia and England again. A very good turn. What we've seen typically is McIntosh strong through the middle stages of each lap. And the turns have been excellent from Maddie Wilson. Again, it's back out to half a body length. So probably will remain around there after the first swimmers. McIntosh to hand over to Ella Jansen of Canada in lane four. And Keir Melverton of Australia in the water now for the Aussies. A great changeover. We want to make sure the changeovers are fast, but safe. We want to make sure that the athlete leaving the block doesn't leave before the swimmer coming in has touched on the wall. But these relays come down to such small margins, so making sure the handovers are quick is also very important. 0.92 separating Canada and Australia. Kia Melverton doing a brilliant job here. 
She's making ground on Ella Jansen. Really nice, smooth stroke. She's got a strong six-beat kick, beautiful rhythm. So the lead may change here at this 100-metre mark. She's eyeballing as they come down to the second 100. There we go. Australia's back in the lead or in the lead. So Australia, Canada and South Africa. A little change in the order there. And in the final 50 of this 200, Kia will be breathing towards the Canadian swimmer, which will give her an advantage. She'll be able to see where she is in comparison to her. By contrast, the Canadian will be looking away. But it looks like Kia Melverton is putting a little bit of a lead on now. She is Kia Melverton. You can see her strokes a little bit more open. Her shoulders are more relaxed as she's swimming, which means that you have more rotation in the stroke um, in comparing to someone you know, when we look at um, Ella Jansen from Canada, a little bit tighter, which means that her body's moving around a little bit more to try and get some of that. And also her hands are open when she's trying to pull through the water with her thumb out, um, which isn't always the right way to go about it. But watch this changeover. Excellent job by Kia Melverton. Hands over to Molly O'Callaghan. So Australia first, Canada second. And in third spot, it's South Africa in lane six, England in fourth and Scotland far left of screen towards the top when we get a wider picture Scotland in lane two currently sitting in fifth spot so Molly O'Callaghan in the water for Australia looking to perhaps extend this lead it's at about a body length at the moment leading over the Canadian alongside her Mary Sophie Harvey Erin Gallagher in the water for South Africa in lane six currently in third spot she's got great underwater work Molly you see off these turns, she almost makes it to 15 metres, really dynamic through the hips. That's where you are the fastest through the course of the race, so she really tries to maximise that. You can see the water flowing around her really smoothly. She's cutting through really nicely, such a smooth, even technique. Great underwater work, as you said, um, Annie. She comes up at about 10 metres here, coming into this third 50. Backing off a little bit in that second 50 so that she can conserve um, to be able to put through what will be a, a great second end or second half to this race. First 50, she would have gone through reasonably comfortable knowing what she can do in 100 in the shorter races. The 200, as you say, it's a sprint, but you've got to conserve energy. If you go out too hard, if you over kick your legs, you produce too much lactic acid in the quads and you can't bring it home in the final 50. Crowd getting involved now to England, lifting through Abbey Wood. They're into third position, but it's still Australia out in front. There's a good look at the lead. Australia won, sitting in second spot, Canada. Arnie ready to go, poised and in the water now. Australia first with 200 metres left to swim in the final swimmer in the water. Lane four, Canada second, and England are going to be ahead of South Africa in third spot for the final swimmer in. I will say Ariane Titmus has, you know, a, a great lead to go off here. It was actually a hard changeover for Ariane Titmus to go off, and it's timing when someone touches a wall for your toe to still be on the blocks. And because it wasn't on a full stroke, Ariane had to actually time this to go in at the right time and so when we look at the changeover for Ariane, it was 0.31 of a second, which is about average, but she had to modify the start in itself. Leads getting bigger for Australia. Arnie in the office, where she loves to be. Great distance for her. It's a commanding lead now. Australia with that gap that we can see on screen. Second spot currently. And they're just outside of world record pace at this stage with 100 metres to go. We can see Dean Bossel. He's, he's getting excited. Made his way down under pullback. He was trying to contain himself there through the first half of this leg from Arnie. He was getting excited when Molly was in the pool and Arnie's bringing in the big six feet kick now. So there's the lead. Australia and Canada. Arnie out in front. Last turn for her, 750 down, Ooh. 50 to go. Under world record pace at this stage. What can Arnie do in the last 50 metres? So it's a world record that's held by China. It was set in Tokyo back in 2021, just over 12 months ago. 
Ariane Titmus under the world record line. Australia going for five in a row. We've won it every time oh. since 2006. Arnie part of the title defence and breaks the world record. Ooh. Australia, what a magnificent performance. One of the best team performances at these games. Extraordinary. Oh my goodness. How amazing. Congratulations to these four women. Just remarkable. Um, Ariane Titmus's split there was 152.82, which was two seconds faster than Molly O'Callaghan's, wow. which is 154.80, which was, that wow. was a great time in itself. Yes. 152.82 is, is mind blowing. So when we usually convert them over to compare them to times when you're doing your own race, it's about 0.6 of a second that we add to that time, which would be 153.40. Because they get but a fly start. That's exactly right. So that, there's a benefit to do that. And Australia just won that by more than 12 seconds, um, which is, it, it really is extraordinary. And we, you spoke about earlier, Annie, the depth that we have in middle distance swimming, but also in sprint. Um, but let's go over um, and, and enjoy this vision, enjoy the women celebrating what it is, a great swim. Good job, all right, world record. Can't get a better job than that, can you? Matty Wilson, Kia Melbourton, Molly O'Callaghan and Ariane Titmus. Canada second, England third. And as you say, Thorpey winning by 12 seconds. I have memories of you winning by 12 seconds. <laughs> Can only dream of it now. <laughs> Wasn't it great to see? Uh, and it was a swim that, you know, at front we saw the Canadian team. Um, they're actually challenging the Australians. And it meant that our earlier swimmers had to get out there and set up that lead to be able to have the final swimmers swim in clean water. So Maddie, Kia, Molly and Arnie, and they are with Kate. They're the world record holders. Kate, how good was that? They are the world record holders, Baz. And can I just get a first reaction from you, Maddie? I don't even know what to say. I, I pretty much lost my voice. I'm screaming at this screaming for these girls um we took it in 2019 and um they took it back out at the olympics so just to have the a world record back again is an amazing feeling it sure is it's back in australian hands where it belongs kia i'm going to bring you in this has to be a very very special moment for you very special the four by two means so much to us in australia and to do it alongside these girls three of them are my training partners and willa i've done so many four by twos with her so it's just nice to finally get that world record back in australia's hands Absolutely. Molly, come on over. You're adding another gold medal to your tally and a world record to go with it. Um, it's absolutely awesome and I'm so excited. And just to do it alongside these girls, as I've said many other times, I just enjoy it and they make it so much more special. They definitely do, Arnie. You bring it home, as you always do. That was a monster leg. You're split 52.8. Wow. Didn't expect that. I mean, I think we knew that the world record could kind of be in our realm, but you don't really think about those things. But we did it in 2019. It was a great feeling and a little bit bitter after the Olympics. So it's nice to come back and do it here. And with these girls, I mean, relays mean so much, as you know. So it's been fun. It's back where it belongs. Was there any discussion of the world record before the race? There may have been a, a baby whisper, but no one has to know that. But um, we just wanted to come out here and do our best. And... We're having so much fun and yeah, it's great. You really are. You have lit up this pool. You are lighting up the lounge rooms all across Australia. Girls, you are the world record holders. Get on over here. Give everyone a big wave and a cheer because that is phenomenal. What a brilliant performance. Well done, Kate. Superbly handled and team Boxel. Okay, here we go. Let's ride it with him as Arnie goes for the world record to bring the Aussies home. But it wasn't just Arnie. He had three of the four swimmers in that race, all under Dean Boxall. So he had to get all of them up. He had to get the rest of the Australian team up as well to cheer him on for that world record. 
think we know from that they got it done. Three gold medals tonight for Australia, four silver, three bronze, and it's a great haul from the pool. 11 gold, 10 silver, 11 bronze, 32 in total for our all-conquering Australia.